I read so many studies every day and it's rare that one stops me in my tracks, but this one is extremely exciting. Researchers at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Centre announced their results from the first clinical trial looking at the effect a high-fibre plant-based dietary intervention had on the progression of multiple myeloma, a rare and currently incurable blood cancer that affects the bone marrow. The scientists recruited 20 participants who had been diagnosed with a precancerous blood disorder. Then, for 12 weeks, the participants followed a high-fibre plant-based meal plan and followed by 24 weeks of dietary coaching. During the study, participants were encouraged to eat as much as they wanted, but only if it was whole plant-based foods such as fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, whole grains and legumes. And the researchers found that participants saw significant improvements in quality of life, insulin resistance, gut microbiome health and inflammation. On average, participants lost 8% of their body weight after 12 weeks. But perhaps most remarkably was the fact that one year after enrolling in the study, not one of the participants had progressed to multiple myeloma. Before the study, concerningly, two participants had started to show advancing disease. But after the study, they experienced a significant improvement in their disease progression trajectory. Following these positive results, the researchers are currently enrolling for a larger multi-centre study with 150 participants called Nutrivention 3. Memorial Sloan Kettering myeloma specialist and lead study author Dr. Shah said, quote, This study showcases the power of nutrition, specifically a high-fibre plant-based diet, and unlocks a better understanding of how it can lead to improvements in the microbiome and metabolism to build a stronger immune system. These findings further support how we as physicians can empower patients, especially those with precancerous conditions, with knowledge on reducing their cancer risk through dietary changes. Now, multiple myeloma is the second most common blood cancer and arises most of the time from precursor conditions called monoclonal gammopathy of undetermined significance, MGUS, and smouldering symptomless myeloma. Now, whilst I personally really struggle with animal studies, these findings were backed up in a smouldering myeloma animal study where 44% of mice fed the high-fibre diet did not progress to myeloma compared to a standard diet where all of the mice progressed to myeloma. I think what struck me most was the fact that this is a world-renowned cancer centre that is now highlighting the power of a whole food plant-based diet. Next, we'll hear what bowls of quinoa and broccoli did to a doctor's cancer treatment.